Okay, good morning for anybody that is tuning in this morning. This is our seventh weekly Lunch and Learn today. So if you're just joining us this morning, say hello in the comments. I'd love to know who I'm chatting with and who is uh, tuning in this morning. And um, part of what I'm gonna be talking about today is makeup. You can see I have no makeup on today. And uh, we're gonna be covering our new concealer some of our upgrades um, that we've done from our old concealer. We're gonna be talking about the Better Beauty Blender, and I'm gonna be doing a makeup demonstration um, featuring our Flawless and Five makeup set using the new concealer and our new Better Beauty Blender tool. So I'm hoping that you guys um, will be able to tune in and watch this, and I'll try to make it as brief as I can. Um, so if you're just tuning in, again, just say hello in the comments, let me know that you're here, and I'll just kind of wait a couple minutes while you all get on. Um, just want to let you know too, by the way, that our new Beauty Blender, which this is what it is right here, um, I'm giving those away for free for anybody that purchases our Flawless and Fi makeup set before the end of the year, or before the end of the month, sorry, I gotta cut it off somewhere. Um, so keep that in mind and it's a, it's a tool that I absolutely love and it's been like a total game changer especially when it comes to applying concealer so I'm really excited to demonstrate that to you today so hopefully you've been having a good week I love coming in on Fridays and doing lunch and learns because typically everybody's happy it's Friday um, and I am too and uh, we're excited this afternoon um, my daughter and I are doing a little photo shoot and we're doing a video for the Michiana Performing Arts and Adaptive Arts website. And um, what that is, it's an organization that provides performing arts education and performance opportunities to students of all disabilities. So my daughter who happens to have Down syndrome is taking piano lessons. And right now they happen to be virtually um, through them, but it's amazing just the way that they teach and they adapt to all different abilities. And it's just, um, like I said, thank goodness, you know, during times of COVID, it's nice to have some different opportunities, um, especially for my daughter, because a lot of things get cut out for kids with special needs that have, you know, issues with medical and whatnot during times like these. All right, so if you're just hopping on, go ahead and say hello. I want to dig right into the content this morning because it's gonna take a little bit of time to do our makeup demonstration. So again, we're gonna be talking about our brand new concealer. This is called Skin Twin Creamy Concealer. And we're gonna be featuring our Better Beauty Blender, doing our makeup demonstration, featuring our um, most popular makeup kit called Flawless in Five, which is meant to get you ready in five minutes or less. Okay, kitty, you're gonna knock over my tripod. Okay, so I'm gonna be doing that here in just a second. So let's go ahead and start with the new Creamy Concealer. Okay, what's different about it? Um, what's so fantastic about it? So I'm gonna cover some of the highlights and how it's different from our old concealer, which was a click pin pen concealer. And it's still available right now that it'll be in our last chance segment on our website. So you had to click it to get the product to come out and you weren't always exactly sure how much product um, was going to come out of the pen. So this is the new and improved upgraded version. And I love this very luxe vial. It's very similar to our Beyond Gloss um, vial as well. Even the wand is similar. So I'm gonna unscrew it here so you can see. So we've got a nice clear wand. And then we've got that doe foot applicator, which is really nice. So you can really control the amount of product that you put onto your skin. And I like it too that it's clear so you can see exactly how much product you have left and it's not a surprise um, <laughs> when you run out of product, you know it's coming. So a little bit about this. I love it and this is a real important product to me because I've always had genetic under eye dark circles and you can see my under eye circles. Now I've had those for years. Um, there are things that improve under eye circles, right? Besides concealer, getting enough sleep, 
drinking water is also huge and key. Um, and also picking the right eye cream too, which I happen to use our counter match eye cream, which is specifically geared towards um, under eye dark circles. So highly recommend this if you're like me. Okay, so the concealer itself, what I love about it, it's super creamy, it's buildable, and it's lightweight. And the one thing I really like about it, it doesn't cake underneath your eyes. So if you're a big under eye concealer user like I am, that's a huge pet peeve of mine. I've probably tried like every concealer under the sun underneath my eyes. And I'm telling you, this is great. And that's one of the reasons why I love it. Another reason why I love it is because I'm using this with it to apply it evenly. So it does have two key ingredients in it that I do want to highlight for you all. Um, it has what we call nut grass extract, and that helps support the appearance of smoother, firmer skin. So anti-aging properties, okay, bonus. The other thing that it has in it that makes it so creamy is it has avocado butter in it. So you know the consistency of avocado, I mean, think guacamole, super creamy. So the avocado butter actually coats the pigments in this a pure color and it melts seamlessly into the skin so it's going to feel real silky rich and you're going to have that undetectable coverage all right so i've talked about the old version versus the new version a couple tips when it comes to highlighters so or concealers i should say if you want to use this under the eyes like how i'm going to demonstrate today and you want that brighter white awake look then you're going to want to shift you're going to want to select a shade one to two shades lighter than your natural skin tone now if you're just using it for imperfections then obviously you're going to want to go closest to your natural skin tone to best conceal any blemishes or imperfections that you have so another great upgrade with this concealer is that we've expanded the amount of shades we've run, we went from six to 13 and as you know, if you, use our, if you use our Skin Twin Foundation or our Dew Skin, we have six different shade categories um, that align with our concealer. And those are fair, light, medium, tan, dark, and deep. I've got this cat underneath my feet that I know. He, she always likes to knock over my camera here. Okay, so once you know your shade category, there's only like one, two, or three choices in your shade category. For your concealer all right so I'm gonna go ahead and go right into the demonstration here of our flawless and five utilizing this and our better beauty blender okay monkey out all right so first off step one is to choose your foundation and you have a choice between the dew skin and the twin skin and today I'm choosing the skin twin and this is tan in 410 so what you want to do is just apply like a couple pumps here to the back of your hand. I'm getting a little low on this. So I'm actually going to open up my bottle here. I knew I was going to have to do that too. So it's not going to be exactly two pumps, but two pumps is about what I use. Okay, so I'm going to put that here on the back of my hand. And then I'm going to take my retractable foundation brush and just dab it here into the product. Now know that I've already prepared my face, I've used my Counter Time products, and I've also used our All Bright C Serum. So I'm gonna start kind of in the, begin, in the middle of the face and just kind of feather outward with the product. Like this. Good morning, Rhonda. So you can see it's really just starting to even out the complexion. And I'm gonna get a little, grab a little more product here. Just coming to the end here of my bottle. You know, and I was gonna bring my mirror down because it's a little bit easier to use a mirror than it is your iPad when applying makeup. <laughs> but we'll do our best. All right, so now I've applied it with a retractable foundation brush. And now I'm going to actually use my Better Beauty Blender and I'm going to get it wet. So you can just rinse it, you know, underneath your faucet or I'm just going to dip it in water here 
and then squeeze the excess out because you want your beauty blender to be damp. And then I'm just gonna kind of pat the foundation into the face. And you can see I'm just going light, not pulling, not tugging or anything, just to set the foundation and to blend it in seamlessly. Okay, so that's step one with your foundation. And then step two is gonna be our new and improved <laughs> creamy concealer. So, and, the, and I should tell you my shade here. My shade here that I chose is medium too. So I'm gonna take that out. It's got a doe foot applicator, just like in Beyond Gloss. And I'm just gonna use the flat side of it to go underneath and just apply it here in streaks and then take a little swipe here from the outer to the inner corner of the eye. Now to blend it in, you've got a couple different options. You can use your ring finger. You wanna use your ring finger because it's gonna likely apply the least amount of pressure. Or, this is my new best friend, is a Better Beauty Blender. But this time I'm gonna use the pointed side here and start to work here from the inner corner to the outer corner to blend it in. And what I like about it too is buildable coverage. So if I put one layer on and then want a little bit more coverage, I can go back in and do it again. And then you can also actually apply a little bit of concealer here to the eyelids if you wish. My eyelids are actually pretty dark and it also works as a primer too. I'm actually just gonna use my ring finger here on my eyelids just to kind of lighten up that area a little bit. Okay, all right, there we go. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go for another layer though. And I'd like to expand the concealer here to the top of the cheekbones to really brighten up the eye. Something I didn't use to do, but it's a little tip and trick that really helps a lot, I think. Okay, I think I'm doing okay. I wish I had a mirror, but I think we're doing all right. All right, there we go. So that looks so much better, doesn't it? All right, so that is step two, the creamy concealer. All right, so we're gonna move on to step three, which is the blush. And I am using Date today. I love this color. Now at first I thought, gosh, it's pretty dark. I don't know if this is for me, but it's beautiful. So I'm gonna take my makeup brush. This is our angled brush. And I'm just gonna tap it just to pick up some product here. And then tap and get the excess off. So when you're applying blush, you want to kind of smile, find those cheekbones, and then just lightly press the hair into the skin, sweeping outward. And again, this is a real deep color, so I'm gonna show you a little tip to blend it in in case you pulled off a little too much color. Actually, not too bad. But then what you can do too is use your retractable foundation brush to kind of blend that back in, especially if you pulled up a little too much color. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, good, so that's the date. Um, and then I'm gonna to go to our eye products next. So you have your choice between an eyebrow pencil here or your eyebrow gel. So you have a selection of either one. And today I'm gonna to go with the brow pencil. And so I'm just gonna take the spoolie end here and then just kind of groom the brows first. So I'm just kind of combing through them in an upward motion. And then I'm gonna to switch to the other side, the pencil. I'm just gonna warm it up on the back of my hand a little bit so it glides on smooth. And then just using short feather-like strokes here. And again, I'm using the iPad, so this feels a little awkward. Wish I had my mirror. Do my best here. Oops. 
Okay, so then after you apply the brow pencil, just kind of following that natural brow shape, you're gonna to switch to the spoolie side again and blend it back in by combing it out. Okay, and you really, really don't wanna skip the brows. So brows really just frame your eyes and make a huge impact on your overall look. Okay, so next you get your choice of mascara. You can go with a Vulmanizing or a lengthening mascara. And I chose the Vulmanizing. And the Vulmanizing has just a thicker um, wand here at the end versus the lengthening. Okay, so now this is gonna be fun on the iPad. So you're just gonna kinda go towards the base of your eyelashes and just wiggle back and forth. And again, with the mascara, it's buildable. You can add as many layers of the mascara as you wish. Then just kind of wiggling. Oops, look what I did. From the baseline all the way out. We'll fix that in a bit. Get it almost feels like you're doing things backwards when you're going into the iPad here. I should have known better. All right. Clean that up. And typically what I do too is just take a, like a Q-tip and then just go along my lash line here just to clean up anything that I need to clean up. Okay. All right. So I've got that. And then last step here for makeup is gonna be your Beyond Gloss, which I chose the Sienna. And I chose this one intentionally because it is it looks really, really dark here in the vial, but it actually goes on very sheer and it's a very pretty neutral color. So again, same applicator as your concealer. Okay, and there you have it. So that's your Flawless in 5, utilizing your concealer, your brand new concealer, and your Butter Beauty Blender. Okay, so that's the whole look. And that probably took me a little more than five minutes, but we're 20 minutes into the presentation, so I think we've done pretty good. Okay, so if you guys have any questions, let me know. I don't know if comments are coming up here, um, but I will certainly go back and check in with all of that. So. Two, just to let you know, this is a free little um, little promo that I'm doing right now. If you do decide that you wanna go with the new and improved Flawless in 5 with the upgraded concealer, I am gifting a free one of these to you through the end of the month, okay? So this is really nice. It's I'm sure you've seen these type of sponges before in the drugstore, but this one is better. It is non-latex. Um, a lot of people have allergies to latex. It doesn't have the toxic chemicals or smell to it. A lot of times when you open up the sponge um, from like a drugstore, like a drugstore brand, you can, you can smell the chemicals. Okay, so this is chemical free. It's very, very dense. It has three sides. It's got the point, it's got the flat side, and then underneath as well. And then another tip too that I might wanna add, if you like more of a matte look, we do have a really nice mattifying powder. And you can actually use the bottom of this. And you just kind of go back over your makeup here to give yourself more of a matte look. And this is great too, this product, if you have oily skin, perfect. All right. So if we don't have any questions, I just want to say thanks so much for tuning in. Um, I like to do these talks every Friday at noon to go over topics related to safer beauty, uh, to do demonstrations like I just did today. Um, next week, just heads up, I am going to cover dry brushing. So that'll be next up on the agenda. 
that if you guys have any questions at all, please reach out to me. And again, don't forget about the promo. You can get that free beauty blender through the end of the month with any purchase of our upgraded, new and improved Flawless in 5. Um, also, if you know anybody else that would be interested in joining this group and would um, like to join in on sessions such as these, you know, please invite them to the group. Um, if they do happen to place an order with me and you refer them, I will uh, reward you with $10 and beauty bucks towards your next purchase. Okay, so I'm gonna see if I can see any other comments. I see people are on here. I'm not seeing any comments. Um, one more um, thing that I did wanna add is if you are local, I am co-hosting a pop-up event at Bar Louie on November 4th from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. So we've actually reserved the entire second floor. Um, there will be social distancing. We've got tables all spread out. People will be required to wear masks. There will be a cash bar, and but we will provide food for that. So if you are local, keep that in mind. All right, if there's nothing else, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. If you do have questions and I didn't happen to see them, um, I will check after I get off here and we'll respond to those right away. So thanks for, so much for tuning in, ladies. Hope to see you next week.